Good morning, people on the internet. It's actually morning for once, which is revolutionary. School has started again, and that sucks because I'm not a particularly, not particularly a fan of school. Not that it's awful, like seriously, school is incredibly important. Um, it is important, and I see the importance of it. However, it's annoying and I spend basically all my days in school being annoyed and angry when I'm not with my friends. Because if I'm with my friends, I actually have faith in humanity. And when I'm not with my friends, I don't have faith in humanity. Which is annoying. So, speaking of school... <laughs> that was so horrible. I... the thing you're watching is a drawing inspired by the Rosewood Chronicles because that book is so good. I got Undercore Princess for Christmas and I read it in a day and it was wonderful and I honestly I loved it. Like I haven't really read a lot of YouTuber books I read um, Girl Online by Suella and it was like, I thought it was good and it was like a pretty okay teenage book, the first one at least. Um, going uh, on tour was okay and going solo was meh, but it was like enjoyable and then I read Undercover Princess and I was hooked from the first line and because I really enjoy princess stories, especially when it's actually a cool story. Like, the story of Ellie and Lottie, 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 I can't speak today, the story is actually really interesting and I really think that the characters are fun because Lottie, she is, you know, stereotypical, happy, like super hopeful optimistic person but she's not just optimistic she like understands that things aren't always happy and things aren't always good and she's like she's not an idiot she understands how important things are and ellie she's she's just a fucking badass mate <laughs> she's so cool and i really like her she is because even though she's very angry and she doesn't like her situation, she knows how important she is and how important Lottie, Lottie is and how important everything is. And that's sort of... I think I like the book. Like, it's not... I mean, it is like fantasy, you know, princesses and beautiful balls and gowns and crowns and beautiful everything. But it's also like the characters understand the position they're in like Ellie knows that she is a princess and she's going to have to pro she's going to have to be queen someday and she's going to have to do all these things and they know the importance of everything basically they are actual they actually s feel like human beings which is weird for a book about an undercover princess but it is fantastic so I can speak about this book all day, but I'm not going to spoil it, which I've already done by saying Ellie was the princess Ellie back. <laughs> but okay, it's not really a spoiler if it says so on the back of the book. Like if it say if it says like what the care who the character are in like the first page, I don't think it's a spoiler. Uh, so in the drawing, if you can tell, is supposed to be Lottie and. Ellie being connected by the red string of fate because I don't remember exactly but I know that one of the first lines Lottie said about Ellie was that she felt that the two had some sort of connection and I interpret that as the red string of fate because I really like drawing red strings of fate <laughs> so of course I did that and I accidentally I forgot to record when I started doing the background but you have background at least and 
I wanted to draw like a tarot card-esque thing and like having them sort of like the Kingdom Hearts um, glass panel stuff, you know, one that's like a character being half asleep or like the circle and most glass panel stuff. I think some of you know what I'm talking about. It's Kingdom Hearts. If you look up Kingdom Hearts art, you'll probably see it. And I wanted to like, I was inspired by that and I wanted to do that. And I think I tried way too hard on this drawing because I drew like, I tried to do violets in the background and then like I tried to do roses slash peonies and like it was so much work and I think I put in way too much work for this because it didn't turn out really well and it was too crowded on this small area and really it didn't matter in the end if I did all those flowers because you can see it. Uh, it was really <laughs> good planning on my part, but it turned out okay. And the drawing actually looks pretty nice. And this drawing, not counting shading, took me four hours. So it took four hours to sketch, do line art, and put down the flat colors. And adding shading, I think this drawing took around eight hours. <laughs> uh, which is probably the longest time I spent on a drawing in a while. Because I am a big believer <laughs> in do things quick so you can do other things. I'm not very- I'm not one to like work for days on a piece. Uh, like I want to draw something and then I want it done and then I want to do something else. Uh, that was not the case with this piece. Because first of all, two characters in poses that I don't do a lot with shading and background. It was difficult. <laughs> but it turned out okay. They don't look exactly how I picture their characters, but I did my best because I couldn't really replicate how I imagined the characters because I, I had a clear view of who uh, how I imagined the characters. I still have. I have a clear view of how I think Ellie looks and how I think Lottie, look, Lottie looks. But I couldn't like put it down on paper and that kind of sucked because I I try really hard to put down my ideas on paper so that I know what my idea of the characters from books look like but I couldn't do it this time which kind of sucked. And I'm just going to have to point out that I'm going to s I switch position of Ellie's necklace because she holds the wolf's own amulet. I switch it to around her neck later because you can see it otherwise. And here we have the final, p final piece. <laughs> oh shit, time is up. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.